Now, meanwhile, the North Korea is looking to go for what appears to be its second attempt to launch a spy satellite sometime between this Thursday and the end of the month. Now, that attempt will come after its first failure back in May. Our North Korean first correspondent, Ide Han, reports. North Korea will likely launch a satellite between August 24th and 31st in the direction of the West Sea. The Japanese Coast Guard said that Pyongyang gave a notification early on Tuesday saying that it will designate three marine danger zones. These zones will include two areas in the West Sea and the eastern part of the Philippines' Pacific coast. Kyodo News reported that the planned launch seems to be a retry of Pyongyang's military reconnaissance satellite launch in May. North Korea had notified Japan about that launch on May 29th and launched a satellite two days after that, but it failed as the rocket fell into the West Sea minutes after launch. North Korea's Aerospace Development Administration said that the newly built engine and fuel that had been used to launch the rocket were the reasons for the failure and pledged to try again soon. Experts say that May's launch was possibly affected by political issues, as there could have been pressure for North Korea to succeed in putting the satellite into orbit ahead of the so-called Victory Day in July. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly ordered officials to finish the technological preparation for a military spy satellite as one of the regime's top priorities for the second half of the year. South Korea's National Intelligence Service earlier last week said that the satellite will likely be launched in late August or early September to celebrate National Foundation Day next month. Meanwhile, following the notice, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida reportedly called on related ministries to cooperate in gathering information and said that Tokyo will closely work with Seoul and Washington on the matter. The Japanese Coast Guard has also issued an alert to warn mariners. Ide Hyun, Arirang News.